Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in front of the tiny house, having my coffee in front of my rocket stove, cooking breakfast. I have been up since about 4 a.m. I had a couple critter events. One happened last night and one early, early this morning. So I'll show you those in a minute, but I want to show you how good my rocket stove is working. Perfect. Perfect. No smoke. Just heat. Starting with some chunky potatoes. Gonna get them cooked almost all the way through and then throw the eggs on. Yum. And Papa gets the rest. So this is the little critter event of last night. And I actually kind of feel a little bit bad about this, but there was nothing to be done about it. I just got the ever-living, you know what, scared right out of me. <sighs> you guys gotta check this out, oh my gosh. I noticed earlier today that that little thing was down. Um, it had some little hoopy things that have like a, uh, that deer netting. Oh my gosh. And look at this. I don't know if it's alive or dead. It looks like it's dead. Oh my gosh. So that's a king snake, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna get a long thing. And, and what's really funny, I didn't see it, so I just went to, I went to grab these hoops, and then I saw it. It's all twisted up in there. I saw it, and I jumped back, so, oh my gosh, let me get something bigger. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh. It's still alive. Okay. Okay. Be calm, be calm. Whew, I'll be calm. Needless to say, I was not calm. I called Mr. Lucas up. Uh, Mrs. Lucas was on the phone and I'm like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And she says, honey, you've got to slow down for me to understand you because I was just like, wah. Anyhow, Mr. Lucas came over with his son, Seth, and um, they helped me get the snake out. I don't know why I was so afraid of it. I just was. I mean, it looked like a big, huge snake to me. Um, and it was all tangled up, and I, I wasn't sure if it was tangled up enough and it, it, whether or not I could get out, but it became clear that, um, well, here, have a look. It's okay if you take that corn out. I'm not going to worry about it. You just do what you got to do. See, its head is up in there. Yeah, that's a king snake, right? That's, that's all that is, is. That's just a king snake. It will never, we can't free it. So we've got to kill it. We've got to put it out of its misery. Okay, I'm not going to show its head. <laughs> it's off to that way. Um, because it's not attached anymore. But this is how big it is. Um, it's a decent sized snake. Not as big as the one I saw the other day. But, and its head doesn't, it's not diamond shaped or anything. So I think this is just a king snake. You know, I, I didn't want to kill it, but it is tangled up in this stuff, and it would have died anyhow. So, yeah, it'll keep moving for a while. Um, because they eat mice, you know? I haven't had a mouse problem or anything like that. I'm sorry, fella. And then this morning, it was, well, it, it, it was still dark outside, probably about 4, 4.30 a.m., I heard something rummaging around in the shed and it sounded like a big something. It didn't sound like a cat or a raccoon or, you know, something of that size. It, it sounded like a big thing in there rummaging around. So, yeah, here, take a look at this. Oh my God, there's something in that shed. Holy crap. Hey! Get out of here! Oh my god. It sounds, it sounds like a dog. I gotta figure this out.
What? What are you? Come on. Oh, it's a dog. It's a friendly dog. Oh my gosh. You got to go. Sorry, putty. That scared me a little bit once I saw it was just a dog. Um, it didn't bother me so much. Uh, I did shoo it away. I don't want a stray dog on my property. But it's interesting because yesterday, Mr. Lucas' brother, uh, Paul, pulled up um, to the end of my drive. And I ran out because I thought maybe he wanted some eggs. I had some eggs. Um, and I had just given them some. And they hadn't finished those yet. Um, but what he came down to tell me is he wanted me to... Um, like maybe get on Facebook or something because he had seen a stray dog and it was kind of like camped out on at an abandoned trailer one property over for him and um, he said if he you know he knows I love dogs and um, if I was able to get a picture or if I could look on Facebook and see if anybody is looking for it um, and he said it was like a blue tick healer or blue healer or something like that and described it. I'd not seen a dog exactly like that, but I thought maybe it could be one of the neighbors. Well, I think it's that dog that was in my shed, and I think she was just looking for, I don't know, maybe food, shelter. She looked a little emaciated, so, um, but it had a collar on it. I didn't, I didn't want to reach down and try and check the collar or anything. Um, so if it comes back, I'm going to try and see if I can get some information off of it and uh, maybe see if I can find an owner or something um, because it's clearly a friendly dog but I don't know if it's gonna if she's gonna be friendly with my chickens so um, I just have to be really really careful with all that um, chickens aren't free-ranging I may not let them free-range all day today because it's supposed to rain anyhow what else Oh, oh, here, look at this. Papa was out for his morning romp, and I'm sure he went and met up with that dog. But when he came back, look. What the heck? Papa, this is the first time I've seen you get in the water. <laughs> Swimming with the tadpoles. You go, boy. You go in there and cool off anytime you want. I'm going to go put some more water in there today, although it's supposed to rain. So neighbor dad next door uh, texted me. Oh, it was a little after 9 p.m. And he said, the chicks are really starting to hatch out. Um, he said, there's four or five more of them in there. One of the leghorns hatched out. And he says, several more Easter eggers hatched out. So I'm sure that by today, many more are going to be hatched out. And they weren't even supposed to start hatching until today. So, um, I'm excited. I'm just going to kind of wait around until maybe somebody texts me. Um, I know neighbor dad um, already went to work early this morning, so I don't know if mom is home with the kids or not. I'm just dying to know how many more baby chicks there are. I'm just doing a walk around my property. I'm trying to see if Beauty is out because Sandy wanted to see Beauty. Now, nah, she's probably in there laying an egg. Here, but you can see the, the little barred rocks. Look at the one on the bottom has Easter egg or tufts. So that's a a Roman baby chick with an Easter egg or mom. <laughs> Where's kickstand? Oh, over here. Oh, guy. I don't know. Might be a hen. But he's. He's having trouble moving around. I mean, he get he does get around, he or she, but he's still not getting up into the coop at night by himself. I think he can do it because I put him at the bottom of the ramp, and he he hops up, but he just has trouble figuring it out. I wish there was a way I could fix that leg. Maybe someday. My garden is looking pretty. I'll show you that in the next video. Yeah, the snake is still laying out there. I keep stretching it out, and it keeps coiling up, even this morning. So I was a little concerned it was a cotton mouth, maybe, because they kind of look like that. But no, um, it doesn't have the white inside the mouth. It's just a king snake. Um, 
so I gotta get rid of it. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video here because I think it's long enough. And I'll show you the baby chicks tomorrow and beauty tomorrow and uh, my garden, which is doing great tomorrow. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.